Thank you, Ken. You always sing the words of our heart. A very quick word of blessing, maybe not for the next 20 years, but for the next year for sure. My son ran into my room from Nana Camp two weeks ago and started reading me the Bible. He said, Mama, listen to this. In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see, only emptiness and darkness, and nothing but nothing. But God was there, and God had a wonderful plan. I'll take this emptiness, God said, and I'll fill it up. Out of darkness, I am going to make light, and out of nothing, I'm going to make everything. Like a mommy bird flutters her wings over her eggs to help her babies hatch, God hovered over the silent darkness. God spoke. That's all. And whatever God said, it happened. Hello, light. Hello, trees. Hello, land. Hello, stars and moon. Hello, animals, and animals came out to play, growling and gobbling and snapping and snorting and happy scurfluffling. God said, you're good, and they were. God looked at everything that had been made perfect, and it was. Then all the stars and mountains and oceans and galaxies and everything was nothing compared to how God loved the children, would have moved heaven and earth to be near them always, whatever happened, whatever it cost. God would always love them. And so it was that a wonderful love story began. This is the real beginning of our story. CBF is only a 20-year chapter in a much bigger book. I wonder what the next 20 years chapter will say and what the kids will read about what we do. I pray they will be known, that we will be known as Baptists who love, love, love Jesus. Who love, love, love the people of the world, all the people, the marginalized, invisible, forgotten children way over there, and the marginalized, invisible, forgotten, but called and gifted children right under our noses that grew up in church somewhere singing Jesus loves me but don't feel welcome anymore because they feel created a little bit differently. What will our children read about that? Sam, if the root of evil is unconsciousness, I hope that at least our children will read that we are conscious and thinking and trying to participate in the creative voice of God in the world. I pray the next chapter in our book will be less about a fight and more about something that children will run to read because it is a beautiful story of love. Please pray with me. Lord, listen to your children praying. Create in us a clean heart. Renew in us a right spirit. Give us vision and direction and the courage to lean into the winds of your spirit. We pray in Jesus' name, our Savior. Amen. And I leave you with the blessing that my mother was given from an African-American woman in Mississippi as she and Daddy left for Africa in the racist south of the 60s. Miss Lucy said to my mother, Miss Charlotte, don't hold your hands like this. 
always hold your hands like this so the blessing of God can rain down on your fingers and flow through them to the world around. Go in peace and the grace of God.